six. Say your prayers. It missed. One enemy destroyer to the front and left. Box two, box two. The Erujian's so-called invincible fleet has been destroyed. Their plans for invading North Point have been delayed indefinitely. Although we are still far from triumphant, this victory gave our troops a much needed boost in morale. mission is to attack the solar power generator plants in the Faith Park region. These generators equal nuclear ones in output and provide about 60% of the energy for the Erujian's military industrial complexes. 
Since they do not require oil or uranium supplies, we cannot stop power production by interdicting their supply lines. This deep strike mission will not only cripple the Erujian's industrial output, but also divert attention from our own imminent invasion plans.
south to exit combat area. 2,000 feet? What do they expect us to do? Go underground? Head toward the ravine and terrain mask. Use the crevices. Get low and stay low. What are you talking about? It's suicide to fly into that ravine. Four rounds, ETA in 15 seconds. Mobius 1, descend to lower altitude. Oh no! Five, four, three, two, one. Impact. Federal aircraft, Come in, paper and iron. Halo again was shot down. Ripier 12 was hit. Are we close to base yet? Another wave from Stonehenge detected. Ten seconds to impact. Ripier 8 crashed! Five, four, three, two, one. Impact. What was that? Omega-1 crashed! Maple 3 crashed! Omega-3, get out of there! Exiting combat area. Maintain current course and altitude to RTB. Another wave from Stonehenge detected. Stay down in the ravine. Ten seconds to impact. Omega-11 crashed! All aircraft prepare for impact. Halo 2, descend to a lower altitude. Ten seconds to impact. The mission succeeded, but the combat losses due to Stonehenge were higher than expected. Victory will elude us until it is eliminated. At some point I realized my uncle, my would-be guardian, had vanished. Maybe the secret police dragged him off for some drunken comment he made. Maybe he chose to disappear. I didn't have anyone to turn to, so I found myself living as if I were a member of the Yellow Squadron. Everybody in town scorned the barkeep for doing business with the enemy. In reality, he and his family were members of the resistance, gathering up intelligence information from enemy customers. His daughter protected me, but that was only because of my tender age. The barkeep and his family were the real heroes, while I, on the other hand, found a haven 